Greetings guys and welcome back to Femboy Mathematics. I'm Tree, your Femboy, and today we're going to be talking about the quadratic equation or the quadratic formula. Now before we begin the lesson, I'm going to need to discuss um, a prerequisite or a requirement to know before we begin solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So um, that important requirement prerequisite is differentiating or knowing what's the difference between a, um, an equation, a function, and an expression. So an expression or an algebraic expression is basically something that's, um, that's just a given, sort of like um, a certain variable or a number plus another number. And it's meant to express something or a thought in mathematics. So something like x plus 5 is something that's an expression. This is called an expression. And um, what an equation is, is basically, as the name suggests, um, an expression. But this time, you're equating it to something. You're making it equal to some other thing, such as a variable, a number, or um, another... Um, another expression so something such as x plus 5 equals 0 is an equation from the name equation so equate so this is an equation or something like x squared equals 3 this is an equation also now about functions a function is Something that takes a, a number and spits out an output. So um, it's, so, it's something denoted by f of x. And let's use the same example, x plus 5. Now if you see something like this, like an f of x, this is a function. So this over here on top is an expression. This over here is an equation. And this over here is a function. Now moving on with the quadratic quadratic formula, there are different types of... Let me teach you a bit of terminology before we begin discussing about the quadratic formula. So, um, so a polynomial, of course, we already know what those are, but there are different types of polynomials classified by their degree or the leading term or the first term's exponent. So if we're given a polynomial equation or a polynomial expression x plus 5, this is something that we call a linear equation or a linear expression or a al linear algebraic, one of those two names. Because it's linear because the degree or the exponent of our first term here is simply 1. So that's what makes it a linear um, expression. Now we can just think of 1 as nothing. We can just pretend that it's not there, but it is there. Now if we're given something like x squared plus 5, this is something we call a quadratic equation, or a quadratic expression, or a quadratic algebraic expression, or something like that. Quadrat quadratic because it's quadratic because our degree or exponent on the first term this time is 2 or x is raised to 2 or x is squared and now what if we're given something like okay the crickets are now kicking in but um, going back to the lesson let's say we're given something like what if we're given something like x to the third plus 5 now that is what we call a cubic equation because x is being cubed much like the quadratic equation, but yeah, except with a 3. And this is a cubic. And now if it's a 4, x to the 4th plus 5, this is going to be a quartic equation. Now I'm not exactly going to go in depth on how to solve every single one of these. I'm mostly going to be focusing on the quadratic equation because today we're going to be discussing about quad the quadratic formula. So for the rest, for linear 
for cubic and for quartic i'm just gonna get i'm just gonna leave it to you guys to search up on how to do that or ask your teacher on how to solve those so what is the quadratic formula the quadratic formula is one of many ways of solving a quadratic equation or finding x in a quadratic equation now you can use factoring in let's say we're given a quadratic equation x squared plus um um 4x plus 4 equals 0. What if we're given this equation here? Yes, we can just do factoring and this would simply just be x plus 2 squared or x plus 2 times x plus 2. But what if we're given something that's more complicated? Like you see we're given a coefficient on the first term like um 9x squared plus 4x plus 18 equals 0. What are we going to do then? We can't just divide all of these by 9 to make x um, just x squared because that would complicate things because this over here would be a fraction if we made it 9. So what we do in this situation is to use the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is simply... It is simply x is equal to um, negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. And that over there is your quadratic formula. And basically, we, you, you're only able to use this for quadratic formulas. You can't use it for quadratic formulas, you can't use it for cubic formulas, or you can't use it for linear linear formulas or linear equations. So we have to identify our a within our polynomial. So we're only able to use this given polynomial a to the x squared plus b to the x or just bx plus c equals zero. If your equation doesn't follow this format and you don't have an a you probably don't need to use this you can just use factoring or some other method of solving that equation but focusing on this we're basically just gonna find a find B and find C and plug them into this equation and with that we can find X now I'm gonna go over a couple of examples to um, yeah I'm gonna go over a couple of examples here um, note that you may need your calculator when you when you solve these problems. So I have a paper here that um, that has a couple of practice stuffs on it. So let's say we're given something like six x squared, six x squared plus eleven x minus thirty five equals zero. Minus thirty five equals zero. How would we solve that? Well, we use the quadratic formula in which we identify a. In this equation, a is 6, b is 11, and c is 35. So if I write our equation here in the side, x equals negative b plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, if you want, you guys can start now. You can pause the video and solve it for yourselves. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and solve it here right now. I'm not going to be talking much on this one. Um, it's just basic algebra or arithmetic, actually, when coming to solve this. And I may need my calculator, which is over here. Just turn that on so that it's ready. I'm kind of a mess tonight. Okay, so 6 is B, I mean 6 is A, and 11 is B, so X would be equal to um, negative 11 plus minus square root of 11 squared minus 4 times 6 times negative 35, all over 2 times 6, which is 12. And so, 
I'll just go ahead and solve this. And so, um, using our calculator. Ah, oh, I'm a bit of a mess tonight. I'm sorry, guys. So this is this stays as eleven plus minus. Let's simplify this this exponent here or exponent. I mean, square root here. One, two, one, because this square of 11 is 121 or 121 or 121 minus 4 times 6 times negative 35 so that would be square root of 961 all over 12 now if we punch 961 into our square root that gives us 31 square root of 31 now from here things split off because you have a plus and minus symbol things here is kind of split off so you're given two options for x so that would be 11 plus um, 31 over 12 or negative 11 minus 31 over 12 and so that would just be Let's simpli just simplify it. So that would be negative 11 plus 31 divided by 12. In decimal form, that would be negative 8.4166666667. Or in fraction form, simple fraction form, um... Hold on a second. It's just negative one zero one. But if you add those, it's technically minusing it. So that's gonna be um, thirty one minus eleven. So that would be thirty one minus eleven would be twenty. So twenty over twelve. And for negatives, that would basically be. Um, negative 11 minus sorry I'm kind of dependent on the calculator right now that would be negative 42 negative 42 over 12 that would be 3.5 or oh no negative 7 over 2 So these are going to be our two answers, or two sets of x. So x1 would be 20 over 12, and x sub 2, well actually we could simplify that further to 10 over 6, and I think that's not simplifiable. Actually we can simplify that further. So that would be 5 over 3, and negative 7 over 2. So that'll be it.